We're at Mott Maison in London and guess who I'm speaking to tonight? Ta-da! It's Rui da Silva. Hey, how are you? I'm all right, thank you. <laughs> Rui, it's great to see you here. Listen, oh my God, where do I start? Um, producer, DJ, remixing, um, whatever else. Uh, an engineer as well. Yep. You've been on the dance scene for quite a while and that's really great. But where did it all start? Well, it started um, in the early 90s in Lisbon. Okay. So that's where I come from and that's where I was living. Um, I was uh, really um, disappointed with my band. I had a rock band, garage band, playing bass. Nobody would turn up for rehearsals. So I decided to sell the bass and buy a drum machine and a sampler and okay. start making electronic music instead. Okay, oh my lord. So what is it that you would do, prefer doing? Is it remixing? Is it DJing? Is um, it what? I prefer um, the produ production, I would prefer, uh -huh. yeah. It's easy, actually even easier than producing someone else and producing uh, yourself because once you produce yourself you still need to um, then push and promote it. If you produce someone else then they push and promote it. You don't need to work to stress with that. Well, that's really, really interesting but uh, you also got together with DJ Vibe. I yeah, then once I've, I've done a few a few productions I start looking for um, like-minded people and I found DJ Vibe playing in a local club and um, I gave him my first um, vinyl and uh, that I had pressed and he played it and then we can kind of get on with it and we created the Underground Sound of Lisbon and okay. uh, Chaos Records. Chaos Records, okay so Chaos Records, I mean were, were there, was there anybody around um, at that time remotely like you? No, there was nothing actually. There was no industry in Portugal for electronic music, there was no dance music. So we were kind of like trying to figure out what, what, what do we do next. Yeah. So we start doing parties in convents and in castles. And, uh, That's uh, still happening today by the way. Yes, <laughs> still, still happening. I, le I left the country now, but uh, yes, yeah, still happening. And um, we started doing, um, set up a record label and uh, invited um, like-minded people from around the world calling them on the phone and sending faxes there was no email then so we, and trying to hire people to come and play for us okay and then of course the big hit in 2001 touch me that must have changed the world for you yes um then i kind of like you um, right through a stage i needed to a new a new um challenge and i decided to move to london and um, so i, I um, started a new label in london called kismet records yeah. and then on a fourth release we we reached gold with the uh, touch me yeah and that was internationally hit, it went straight up in the British charts. I mean, you must have felt as if you were um, falling on fertile ground. Yeah, it was, it was a fantastic experience. I mean, from a girl that I found singing in the Piccadilly Circus on the street with, with, a, with a band that was busking, and I just grabbed her number, she came to the studio, and then a few months later we had number one in the UK. <laughs> wild, totally wild. Yeah, it was mental. You couldn't dream it up? No, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> And since then, you've been working with um, many, many international names. I mean, Justin Timberlake, uh, Jennifer Lopez. Um, what did you do for these guys? I mostly remixed them and warped and twisted their vocals. In, ca in the case of Jennifer Lopez, I made her sound like a guy and they make like a uh, like a, a, a gay anthem for, a, for, for a, as a club record. Okay. Um, with uh, Justin, I've just decided to do a, a orchestral arrangement for for one of his songs. Okay, and um, often you have it that you know a song can be released by an artist, but actually it's the remix or the dance remix that does superbly well. Everything but the girl is a very good example for that, wouldn't it? Yes, yes, that's one of the, my favorite remixes by Terry. Really? Terry, Yeah. And so, what's happening with you now? Tell us. Well, currently I've got a new uh, project. It's called Lisbon Kid, and it's a Balearic um, band. And we've signed to Wall of Sound. We just released our first album. Okay. We've got a new single out with uh, Sarah Cracknell from Saint Etienne, and uh, remixes from Howie B. And um, also been doing a bit of film scoring for Hollywood. So I've got a new a movie out now called Trust No One. Uh, okay. So that's a debut. It's a kind of a orchestral electronic uh, uh, score. So is that like a completely new challenge for you? Because I mean, I can imagine, you, you know, you've, you, you're seasoned, you're weathered, you've been around um, a bit, uh, there's nothing that you haven't done. And then where do you go from there? How do you reinvent yourself? 
Yeah, it's definitely a new challenge and so, something that I want to explore further. So 2017, there might be some new stuff coming. And is that going to be for the charts, for public? Um, no, it's going it, it, there'll be some stuff released, but more underground records, which is what, where my passion is in terms of, uh, of tracks, is always the dance floor. And, um, but I'll be working on some, some more score stuff. Okay, well, good luck with that. It's brilliant talking to you, Rue. And um, all the best. Thank you. <laughs>